All right, back out here in the garage. I got the truck turned around. I've got most of the stuff that I can get to without taking anything apart uh, fixed. This is one of the next project is projects is I've got some cancer going on down here. So we'll deal with that. And then uh, lift the hood here. We've got uh, same action going on over here that we had on the other side. So I'll be working on that. And then uh, we've got this, uh, you can see this side of the cab is really nasty. So going to be working on that. But as you can see, my garage doesn't have a roof in it. It uh, is open. And it's not only is it hard to heat, but it's really hard to cool. So what I think I'm going to do is I've been, kind of been working on this a little bit the last few days is uh, I'm going to sheetrock the ceiling. So I'm going to put the truck on hold for a minute and move some electrical and get, uh, get my uh, roof sheetrocked here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll bring you in throughout the process but if you can kind of see my lights got a couple of eight footers down the middle and some four footers out there but what my plans are is I'm gonna put four rows this direction of LEDs so I'm gonna come up here and put uh, some electrical boxes up there in the rafters and get it ready to sheetrock so, this really, the, the Life On channel is really not just a car channel. Uh, it's, it's kind of what it sounds like, Life On. And kind of my life, and, and I don't know, I, I don't know if my life is so interesting that people would watch it. And, but it gives me an opportunity to you know pass on the things I know and the things I can do or the things I enjoy doing to you know my grandkids and and anybody else who knows me who wants to to see this stuff it's just you know that's a great thing about YouTube is you know it's an archive that you can go ahead and put your memories on your your trips and projects or what have you and then you know they're there you know, I don't know if anything's forever, but as forever's can be, I guess. So that's kind of what this is. I'm going to be showing, you know, working on the truck, doing DIY projects around the house. I got to do some painting in a bedroom and stuff. And so, you know, I'll be, I'll be doing some things like that. And, you know, maybe if the channel grows and gets to a point to where, you know, I get people asking me questions. Maybe there's some knowledge I can impart to them. Or maybe just, you know, some encouragement. Uh, that's basically it all it is. It's just not being afraid to try something. You know, especially if it's broke. I always tell people, you know, if it's already broke, you can't make it any more broke. <laughs> and that's not really true. But, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to try. And with with all the information that's at our fingertips now you know it's there's no reason not to you know you just got to be patient realize that you know a lot of these things you see people do on YouTube or you see me do I've been doing for years and years and years and I have a lot of experience and so some guys make it look easy and so you think it should be easy for you but the reality of it is is that the first time you try anything, you know, you're not going to be uh, perfect at it. So, you know, try it. Give yourself a break. Give yourself some time. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, watch a lot of YouTube, you know.
go to pawn shops, look for tools. You know, that's one of the biggest reasons I think people don't do things is they don't have the tools. And if you had to go out and buy tools brand new every time you you wanted to do a little project, it gets expensive. So, you know, go to places like Harbor Freight that sells, you know, inexpensive tools. You know, you're not going to be, if you're not making a living with them, as much as you use them, they'll probably work great. The other thing is uh, pawn shops and, you know, going on your local uh, uh, classified ads and stuff like that and buying stuff secondhand. Uh, that's how I've gotten a lot of my stuff. You know, it hasn't been until the last few years that I've been able to, to buy new stuff. And then there's just some things I won't buy new, you know, like my welder and those kind of things. You know, I was just patient and kept watching and I paid... I think I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for that welder, and it was with a bottle. So you can you can get some great deals if you're if you're patient and you know planning and you know and just try, you know. And if you like it and it looks good and you can stand back and say job well done, then that's just what it is. So I encourage you to to take on some of these projects and uh, not be afraid to try. So. I'm going to get busy and uh, tack up some boxes and then I'll show you that. Hello, oh, Dick. Okay, so this is what I got done. We talked about working in the garage and you can see there's four boxes up there and what it's going to have is four rows of lights, LEDs, running up there so I'll take all these other lights down when we sheetrock and it should make it a little easier to to sheetrock getting those out of the way but that's what we did today uh, tomorrow I'll get up there and pull down some more stuff just work on clearing off shelves and getting so we can get up there this would have been a lot easier if I hadn't done this when I moved in but anyway that's what I did today a little electrical alright back in the garage it's been a couple days but the last time I was in here I was showing you the electrical work I was doing putting in these boxes for my lights we're gonna have four rows of LEDs I also went ahead and installed this breaker panel. It's a 50 amp sub panel. That way if I want to put a bigger compressor or more outlets, which I want to do, I have the capacity now here to do it. But here it is, the ceiling's all sheetrocked. And it's got a layer of mud or tape, what they call fire tape. And I could stop right here, but I'm getting a little crazy in my old age, I guess. But I'm probably gonna uh, I'm probably gonna take and put another coat of mud on all the seams, and then uh, put a texture and paint it white. Uh, I need to get the old truck back over here. It's over at my son's house. And uh, get working on it again. But the idea is, I don't know if you can tell over there, but the front wall in that, this would be the, this would be the uh, west wall. Are, uh, they're not sheetrocked or insulated. So the plan is at some point to, to do that. But I'm going to take and put up this wood trim I don't know if you can see that detail there but instead of trying to tape that corner and everything I'm just going to uh, put up that base kind of give it a little more character that'll go all the way around the shop or the garage uh, when I'm done so that'll give me the chance I can do whatever I want to do to the ceiling and paint it and then when I come back and do the rest of the walls uh, it won't I won't have to worry about 
cutting into the, the ceiling or anything but anyway it makes the place seem a lot bigger having the sheetrock ceiling sheetrocked and it's definitely way easier to get a warm I've got a kerosene heater here it's a 45,000 BTU heater and before I'd have to be right next to that thing to keep me warm but now with the ceiling just the ceiling we don't have any insulation up there yet it's uh, it's pretty toasty so here's where we're at now uh, we'll do some more filming as the next stage of it which will be another coat of mud and probably texture and then paint so till then All right, so it's been a while since I've been out here and videoed my uh, little garage project here of sheetrocking the ceiling and insulating the ceiling. This, uh, this little project's grown some hair. <laughs> As you can see, uh, I just picked up a compressor, a bigger compressor, and then decided that if I was going to insulate the ceiling, I better insulate the walls. And if I was going to do that, I probably ought to put some power in. So I uh, ran this wire over before we sheetrocked the ceiling. Put a sub panel here on this wall and now I've got 20 amp circuits along here. Ran 220 down there for the compressor. I ran a line out to the trailer, a 30 amp line, so I could put the plug my trailer in without it being on a big long extension cord that it's been on for 10, 11 years. And I built that little nook over there for uh, shelving. I'm gonna get rid of. I had this. I don't know if you can tell, but I had this this uh, shelving unit here hung up on the wall and it was right over in this area and had all my chemicals and stuff on it and I've decided that I'm gonna I want to build a a nice workbench down this side it won't be probably be 18 inches deep and then come down all the way along this edge and then put uh, shelves up so I'll have more shelf space than I had before uh, I've got some shelving down there that I've had for a while that I'm gonna put up but uh, yeah it's it's gone crazy it went from being a you know she rocket so I can get it kinda warm in here to gonna put a furnace in this is out of my son's house. He got a new furnace, so I took this one and we're gonna I've got a gas line up there and I just ran power and we're gonna put that furnace here in the corner and so anyway it's gonna it's gonna be quite nice. I, I don't know if you can tell, but these lights I've got about, about two thirds of them up. I've still got to finish this row and put in another row interesting thing about these lights though is when they're on they mess with my garage door opener uh, the remotes won't work <laughs> so they're emitting emitting some kind of RF signal that is messing with my garage door opener so whenever I leave I gotta make sure that I shut the lights off so that I can get the garage door open when I come back but anyway this is kinda what it's looking like Hopefully when I get all the shelving up and stuff, it'll be, you know, better organized. Uh, yeah, I built this. Put my hardware, put household stuff over there. And then I'm going to take this part right here. And this is a bench right here. And then I think once I get it all painted, I'll put two or three shelves there and put you know have some more storage there but anyway just thought you'd want to see it it's taped coated
textured, painted. <laughs> you know, it got a little crazy on it. But anyway, uh, more to come.